Hi, this video will show you about our AV OIP system without the Wi-Fi router, how we do the controllings. So basically here we have the setup and as you can see right now we have the uh, laptop here which we are going to use the PC software for control and this one is the uh, 10 inch touchscreen. We also can use the app control without the Wi-Fi connections. So here are the input sources. I have the Xbox and then one the uh, player camera then three HDMI inputs to the transmitters here three transmitters and using the POS, PoE function from the uh, PoE net switch then four receivers here then connect to this uh, four displays on this side so basically this is the uh, connections as you can see we didn't have any Wi-Fi router we connect to the local network so now I'm going to do the settings and uh, see how we can get it work. So for my country PC, basically I have a uh, Type C to the RG45 connector, then connect to the uh, PoE switch. Then so first step, we just need to make sure and we're going to do the uh, IP address settings for my PC. Otherwise, we cannot use the HDMI over IP console to find the device. So first step, we're just going to uh, change the adapter options. Then we have the internet and priorities. Then TCP IP4. So this one we need to change a change to a uh, the default IP address of the AVIP system. Just because O R V O I, all our OIP system are coming with the HTCP mode. So basically, because right now we didn't have the Wi-Fi router, so it will just go to the uh, default IP address. We can just check them out by pressing the ID key on the receivers. Then you will just choose on the uh, code of the display. Then we can check out. It's actually runs in the 196, 169 to 45 and uh, this IP address range. So for our country PC, we're going to set it as the same. So IP address, we just go to um, 69254 and uh, we just set it as one. Here we just put it as uh, 89 or any of the address and for the uh, sub mask. Just go to 255, 255, zero, zero. And for the gateway, we can just delete all them. We can leave it as empty. So we'll just hit the OK button. OK. Now we we'll just go back to the uh, HDMI over IP console software. So now we we'll just click the search button. Then we will find all the seven devices. If in this uh, Procedure we cannot find the device. We just need to make sure and we have the uh, firewall Disabled just because if we have the firewall open it will just have this uh, Issue that we cannot find the device now. We've found two transmitters and uh, Three receivers just because right now we have one transmitter is off. It could be the uh, PoE now switch cable. We just check on the uh, line connection cables so we have it back we can just click OK and search again and we can find all these seven devices so this is the uh, software which we can just do the settings including the IP address and uh, so here uh, we can just use as so now we already found uh, six Still one transmitter missing. Click to search again. Okay, so now seven devices are found. Okay, we have uh, three transmitters here, and then we have four receivers here. So total we have seven devices for this AUIP system. 
So after we found all the devices, we can set up the uh, IP address. We can just, if we want to set as the uh, static, instead of the, we can just go to the bench. And here we'll just choose that the IPE, which is meaning for the transmitter, and uh, IPD, which is for the receiver. So we just hit the all here. That means we select all the receivers here. So here we can just choose a static or DHCP or the R2 because right now actually uh, the default mode is DHCP. So if you wanna set it, we also can set as the static. And here we have the video. So video we can, uh, basically we need to, uh, sometimes we need to set up the resolution. And those are the most um, settings on this HDMI over IP console. So after we found all the devices, we can just go to the uh, VDirect app. So like right now, we actually already found a device. We can just uh, maximize uh, this software and we can just uh, go to the setting icon here and uh, add advanced setting. So we got the password here is admin. So we can unlock this one. We can just reset software settings. Click the OK button. Then we'll automatically restart this software. After it's restarted, and we can check out, we have the RX, uh, four RX here, and three receivers here, and with the preview function. And if we wanna make a two by two video, and we can just hit the uh, setting icon here. So video setting, cre create a new video. Okay, his name as a two by two. Or any of the video name we want. Because here I have a uh, two row and two columns. So here the setting I just go is two row and two columns. And basically on the uh, screen we will have the numbers showing. So we can just drag the numbers to the specific window. So we have two for the first TV and uh, one for the second one and then three for the third TV and four for the fourth TV so we just drag the numbers according to the display in this box then we hit a create button here and then we can just clear this one then right now on the display is actually showing what it shows as a video wall but it's no source so we can just drag out any of the source to this video wall. So now we already have a two by two video wall. We also can just drag another source for the switching. If we want to delay this video wall and also just the same thing, go to the setting icon and here we have the delay. Okay button and just back. Just have this one switch to all the displays. Okay, this is how we use the PC software to control this AVIP system. Except this one, we also have our newest 10-inch uh, touchscreen. Basically, we also can do the all the controllings through the application. So basically, uh, this 10-inch touchscreen will have a pre-installed application. So we just can start from the beginning, and we can just wrap up. Then here we can see we have the uh, VDirect application. But before we using that, we need to go to settings to set up the IP address of this uh, 10 inch uh, touch screen. So we can just go to the network, internet. Here we have the uh, internet. Then the same, we just need to make sure and we use the uh, uh, internet IP mode, we use the static and then we can set up the IP address here, uh, static. Then we just set up the IP address for this 10 inch screen. And then we can, because I already set up before, so I can just do the settings. Just remove the app. Okay, so now we're going to run this VD rec application for the controlling. So you will start searching the devices and what you found. All the devices here so we have the uh, receiver list here and the transmitters on the bottom side and now we also can do the uh, controllings accordingly 
And because this uh, tiny touch screen can support the PoE functions, so basically we just use one line cable directly from the uh, 20 from the PoE switch. So now we can do the uh, switchings accordingly. Just drag one of the source to all the displays. Okay, this one is actually from the Xbox. Uh, another one is from my camera. And another source is from the uh, Mi Player. Okay, so this one right now for the uh, for this AVRP system, basically we can have like two options to control it without the using the Wi-Fi router. First one we just use the uh, PC software like this one. Another one we just recommend to use this uh, 10 inch PoE and touch screen, touch panel. So basically we will have the application pre-installed and uh, uh, powered by the PoE function. Can support the wall mounted. So drag the source to all the displays. And create the video wall is going to be the same as the PC software. Click the setting icon here, and then we have one here, which is for the uh, video setting here. So video setting, create a video wall, and here we just choose as a two by two. Next, and here we have an option which is a grid on this Android application better than the PC software. Because for the Android, we can just have these two options, composite or single. So if we have both uh, T code, and which is means we just send kind of like the two presets here. So we just hit the uh, next button here. Now we will have a video wall just do the same and drag the numbers on the screens to the uh, box on this video wall setting here. So we have three on this TV and one on this TV and four, two, four and two. So we already have the uh, the numbers matched with the uh, video, the screens, and also shoes while a video wall. So we just hit next button here. So we have a save button here. Save. So now we already have this video wall created on this uh, application. So now we can just uh, back to the home page. Now we just drag any of the source to this video wall. So the video already created by this set 10 inch touchscreen. We can check out. We still need to mention that and this uh, Android application on touchscreen and the PC software is actually not going to be scenic just because all the uh, settings only installed on this PC software or on this VDirect application. So it's not going to be installed uh, or synced to the whole system. If we want to have the uh, system scenic and we will need to add one of the IP country box in the system so we can use a different application and the PC software. With that one, we can have all the settings scenic on different platforms. Okay, thank you.